All right, so I've had this laptop for about a year now. I have reviewed it on my other channel and I just simply have not used it. One is that it's pretty damn loud. Yep, that's how loud it is. And uh, if you turn on the turbo, it's, just, it's, it's ridiculous. The keyboard sucks. The screen is okay. It's an audio optronics IPS 60 Hertz panel. It's actually pretty slow in terms of response time. That being said, we're gonna try to do a couple things. We're gonna go ahead and actually replace the screen with a panel that I think is gonna work. I'm not even sure if it's gonna work. It's about $100. What we have here is a nice bright 300 nit 120 Hertz panel with a three millisecond response time. So this should be much, much better than this garbage. So yeah, if it works, fingers crossed, we're gonna have ourselves a pretty sweet gaming budget laptop with a nice screen. You know, I could deal with a slow laptop as long as it has a good screen then I can make it faster by installing an SSD and doing all that kind of stuff. So if it does work, I'm gonna improve this laptop by replacing the SSD that's in here with two more SSDs, upgrade the RAM, and most definitely replace the thermal paste on this thing because it's just way too loud. Another reason I haven't used it is that it simply blue screens when I open it up with the current installed SSD. It is a WD Black, one of the older models, and for some reason when it goes to sleep, it just crashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it apart we install this bad boy right here. It should work. The panel here is actually a panel that a lot of people have been using to upgrade their screens for some Dells and Acers and some MSIs. So it should have some support. The backlight brightness control may not work. It may be stuck at 100%, but it sure beats whatever is in here. I'm gonna be using it as a desktop anyways. Anyways, enough talk. I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart and install it and see what happens. So let's go. And uh, yeah, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Yeah, boy. Oh, 120 hertz. Does the backlight work? Okay, I'm gonna put this back together and we're gonna have a fun time. Now it may look glossy and that's because of the screen protector that's currently on. We're gonna take that apart. Oh, delicious. This is open heart surgery at its finest. So I just went ahead and turned it off after the camera overheated. I definitely broke one of the tabs in here, so... You know, nothing like some blue tech won't fix it. So yeah, I would definitely call this a success. This thing has been pretty fantastic. The response time is pretty insane. Oh my god, this thing does feel pretty amazing. Uh, the colors here are a bit different. Things are currently too bright, so we're gonna go ahead and actually install the proper drivers, the proper color profiles, and then we're gonna have ourselves a pretty sweet experience. Yes, it is a 1050 Ti, but who cares? If you got a 120Hz screen, then all that doesn't matter. I mean, being able to spin around my cursor on my desktop at 120Hz is worth the six minutes I have spent alongside the hundred dollars I've spent. So yeah, this camera just overheated and turned off within six minutes. Not really great for video, but now that my main camera is free, I can go ahead and use it for recording. And you can probably tell from the audio. So anyways, the display here is now much better. Before it was some absolute garbage. It was an IPS panel. It was more like a VA panel. It was dim, it was slow. It was just not that great. The colors were terrible. But now we have a much better display. It was about 100 Canadian dollars and it was definitely well worth it. Yes, it is an LCD panel, but it has much better colors, better response time, higher refresh rate, and it is much brighter. But not only that, but I can finally use my touchpad because using a touchpad on a laptop with a slow display, it just hurts. It just really hurts. That being said, I have also fixed the fan issue. So I went ahead and installed the Dragon Center and with the Dragon Center, I went ahead to the system tuner. So when I'm not gaming, I can just set it to eco. And for the fan speed, I can set up my own profile. As you can see, it has auto, basic, and the cooler boost, and they all suck. So what I've done here is I went ahead and uh, customized it and made my own profiles. It simply turns off the fan when it doesn't need it. Oh, and if you're worried about temperatures, well, the temperatures are usually around like 45 degrees when it's doing nothing. So perfectly fine. And when the fan needs to run, it will run. Now for the display, out of the box, it's a bit too bright, a bit too uh, out of place. And to fix that, you go ahead and open up your Intel graphics. Actually, it's not even here. And that is because apparently Intel has a new program. I believe this is the one that is installed through the Microsoft Store and pretty much installed itself through the updates, which by the way, does look pretty cool. But essentially you go to the display, color, and then you want to go ahead and actually drop the settings to what I have here. Now I just eyeballed it, I didn't actually calibrate it, I do have a calibrator, 
and I might do that later to actually get a better color accuracy. But that being said, these are my settings. You can go ahead and copy them. So negative 10 for all colors, red negative 5, green negative 10, and blue negative 15. So we have fixed the fan, we have fixed the screen. Now let's go ahead and fix performance because this laptop feels like it is missing something. There is a 1050 Ti in here and I'm not seeing the performance I usually see from this GPU. I expect more. Yes, I know it's a laptop, but I expect more. And I thought about it and I'm like, oh, it's obvious. These laptops are usually sold with a single stick of RAM, which means it runs in single channel, which means this thing is going to be much slower than it should be. So basically, you're missing out on so much performance by just running a single stick of RAM, especially on a laptop. So right now, it has a single stick of Samsung 2400MHz DDR4. So I went ahead and bought another stick of 8GB 2400MHz, and this should give me the performance I'm looking for. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and also install this 1TB Silicon Power SSD. This is a 2.5 inch regular SATA SSD. It is $130 Canadian dollars right now, and it is definitely worth your money. I believe I own about 4 different SSDs from this brand. And they have all been running fine, just fine, never had an issue with them. One of them has been running for about 4 years now, so if that doesn't say anything, then I don't know what does. In fact, these two SSDs from Adata and Kingston, they have both failed on me. The quality of their products is high-end, but the price point is pretty cheap, and I just absolutely love what they make here. They're definitely making a name for themselves, and I could definitely recommend it. And I'll make sure to leave a link for it in the description below. So, anyways, let's go ahead and take it apart once more and install these bad boys right here. Ninety eight FPS. All right. Well, then, would you just look at that? The average FPS before was about ninety. And now it's 160. CSGO likes frame rates and whatever you give it will eat it up and give you more frames. Which is great. Now of course not everything will actually make use of this so uh, keep that in mind. Not everything will get the same performance benefit but you'll definitely maximize and utilize whatever performance there is on your laptop. And as you have saw here the performance is pretty fantastic. There was pretty much 0% benefit in the Cinebench but in CSGO it's where all the good stuff is. So anyways thank you all for watching. Links for everything will be in the description below. If you have any questions do let me know and if you want to see more videos about the screen or the upgrades or some more comparisons do let me know as well and maybe we can make a video about it in the future so thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one take care everyone